Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. Two-part forecast going on here. We have the local part to the forecast, and that is more energy and moisture equals a chance for showers again on Thursday. Temperatures in the 90s, daytime highs governed by clouds and by scattered showers. More clouds, more showers, lower temperatures. Again, that area of low pressure in the western gulf is what's been helping to generate showers, and it'll do so again on Thursday. Then we have another area of low pressure to concern ourselves with. It's ejecting out of the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. The one on the right side of the screen may very well become a player in a tropical sense. Futurecast indicates that indeed on Thursday we will see afternoon shower and thunderstorm bits pop up, but then as we go into Friday, the uh, well, I think the effect is pretty much going to be scrunched as that next area of low pressure comes in across the Gulf of Mexico. There it is, and it should continue moving to the west northwest, but oh boy, then it kind of goes nuts on the forecast models. The, the solutions are almost endless that this thing could go on up toward New Orleans, it could go over closer toward Galveston, and it's pretty much focused on a Saturday landfall along the coast, but may be buffeted or bumpered back out into the water or down the coast by that frontal boundary there you see to the north from East Texas to Louisiana and Mississippi. So if it can't push past that, it might come back out into the water. So that's what the Saturday and Monday uh, signs are for. Saturday, the storm may be either close to the shore or at the shore, anywhere between Corpus Christi and New Orleans. And then it may get pushed back out and down along the shore toward the valley by Monday. That's what the Monday sign is for. Also, it could just sit out there in the Gulf of Mexico, in the western Gulf, for a few days on in through Monday. So Saturday, its initial push brings it near the shore or at the shore, and then by Sunday and Monday, it's either moving on north or it's being bounced back into play by that front, and we find it back in the Gulf or near the valley. So, wow, it's really going to be uh, up in the air until we get down the road about another 48 hours, then I think we'll have a much or 24 to 48 hours, we'll have a much better idea of where it's going and what it will do and how strong it will be. That's a whole other part of the forecast. Uh, Katia continues to move west into the open Atlantic. Folks in Bermuda may be getting a little nervous. Uh, still a ways to go before the United States has to worry about anything, especially along the East Coast. Seven-day forecast has that opportunity for rain on Thursday. Again, that's more that broad area of low pressure that's here and now. But then we move on into the weekend and early next week, and it really all depends on the path of that next tropical low. And if it's a storm, if it's a hurricane, whatever it may be, and where it goes is very important to the forecast. We could end up on the far west side of this thing, and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday be hot and dry. Or it could come closer and get in such a position that we have more rain next week. So, again, it's all up in the air past tomorrow. So we'll look forward to that when we get there. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.